Hey guys, and welcome to the Blind Wave Podcast. Hello. I'm Rick. I'm Shane. Oh, Aaron. Calvin. Oh, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> and we are here. It's a Thursday. We just had July 4th yesterday. Yeah. yeah. Americans, America's Independence Day. Yep. Yeah. There were fireworks and cannons that interfered with filming. How do the British feel about that? Like, <laughs> these fucking losers. You know what I mean? But Un- it's been hundreds of years. Ungrateful colonials. Yeah. <laughs> Got, just oh, white wait, taxpayer, it's taxpayers who didn't want to. What's that? You said like, you said these fucking losers. The, 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 British? Brit- the British are saying that these white <laughs> oh. slave owners who didn't oh, want to okay. pay their taxes. I thought you were, were making a political statement about who lost the Revolutionary War. Yeah, I thought you were like, uh, <laughs> the British, the fucking losers. <laughs> no, no. I mean, supposedly most of our military was off fighting another war. Yeah, I don't know what was going on. Yeah, I wasn't around. Yeah, I mean, fucking history is made read, by the so. history is made by the victor. So you, you know, whatever. <laughs> well, it's only if you wipe out the other side. Like, if they're still there to write their histories. Well, suppress- it doesn't work that way. Suppress. We still wrote our history. Suppress. <laughs> they wrote their history. Rick? Like, the yeah, Canadian news of us is much different than our news around of us. the mic, and it bothers me. I love it, Calvin. This is, it's, it's, is this the new thing? Is this what people are doing with their beats? This took, like, Hi, everybody. seconds of work. Beats? To make we, make we, would, we wouldn't have a cord. All I know is that... We wouldn't have a mic, either. I had... I, my, I lost my airport. I had my microphone or my headphones cable snugly wrapped around my chair like I like it, and Aaron just unplugged everything. <laughs> Good. You wrap it around those chairs like crazy, Rick. Like That's a, my like chair. <laughs> Go back there, try to sit down or whatever, and just these tangled mess of stuff. Yeah, you you try to slide away from the desk and you pull the monitor and the mouse and the computer with you. I don't know if you guys are moving stuff for downstairs, but I sat down to do my Witcher stream on Wednesday. There was no green screen. There was no microphone. There was no headphones it was nothing it was for the on the uh, word all went <laughs> it was for the um smash stream that we did last week the microphone's uh, still attached microphone should have been just sitting on the little black thing but anyway yeah, i couldn't find it in, it was on a little table in the in the enclosure that was in front of eric India, so how is everybody doing me. hopefully everyone had a happy fourth of july yeah and a happy uh i don't know like a week or to go or something that was happy syrup day aaron what brought day? in ribs syrup today yeah the C- canadian holiday yeah Maple syrup? Isn't that what they celebrate up there? <laughs> I don't <laughs> think they celebrate strictly that. It's like Canada Day. I think that's what they call it. Canada Day? Yeah. What was the thing about the... I was watching Dirty Money on Netflix. There's something on there about maple syrup. I don't know. I'm not seeing maple about syrup. It? Or dirty, dirty, whatever. What are we talking about? What? Syrup. I figured you'd be in this conversation. Why? I don't know. Corn syrup? Everyone Everything. Loves High fruit is corn syrup? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I did. I brought in ribs for lunch. Yeah, I yeah. saw that. I I just Rick was like trying to set stuff up, whatever. He's like, man, I need someone to help me. I'm like, covering ribs with sauce. He's like, I, I understand. I looked at him <laughs> and you were just like crap on his face, on his fingers. Yeah. I was staring at Shane trying to act like a Viking, like. <laughs> <laughs> just doing stuff. And I absolutely did not acknowledge it. <laughs> you didn't. You did not. That's my favorite thing to do, is just not acknowledge it. it something I learned so, so much from Gus in the Mood is just stare with someone without emotion. Mm-hmm. Or empathy, or anything. Yeah. I shot so he many did balls of, of he fire. His whole life. And my friends and family, it was great. Like uh, even when something's funny, you go, here you go. That's funny, and that would literally be funny. <laughs> 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 like, I just remember working at Giant Eagle. Uh, this stupid ass joke some of these fucking people would make going through my line. Yeah. You know, me, I could keep telling the same joke all day because they're different people. Yeah. That's one of the good things about being a cashier. <laughs> yeah. As I, you know, the most famous one is when something went to ring up. And well, I, and, I guess. And they, what is it? What is it? Oh, it must be. Oh, it must be free. And they laugh, and they'll like, you know, look, they'll look like down the line of people, and they're all laughing, and I'm just like, no, it, it, it's not free. And I say this really seriously, and I just keep looking at everyone, say, oh, you know, he must be in a bad mood. And then the other people know not to talk to me. <laughs> That's how I laugh. Well, you had to act like you were deaf to a lady forever, didn't you? Well, yeah. It. In the, the thing is, like, she just didn't hear me. Yeah, I mean, I was kind of trying to be polite, and I was like, hey, how you doing? She didn't answer me. I was ringing her up, and then I told her the total at the end, Uh, because she was just mumbling shit. I'm just like, who the hell is she talking to? You know what I mean? Uh, I thought she was talking to the lady next to her, and and she said, I've been trying to talk to you for 10 minutes. And I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. I'm deaf in this ear. And she went, oh, I'm so sorry. (laughs) And then the lady after her was like, Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like shit. You know, that's your life now. Well, yep. this is one. Like, so I had to carry that lie on lot, for, se- for you started, seven. You started the lie like Eric did. I had a lie like that <laughs> yeah. for seven years, and then this one lady. I remember, uh, 
this this lady she had these just beautiful eyes and they look like contact lenses like they're just real sharp and uh real enhanced like this blue blueness to her eyes i said wow like those are gorgeous eyes those, those, those are contacts she's no no those are my real eyes and then fucking like a month later i saw her line okay i had no one in line and there's someone next to me with someone in line so she got in that line which why, why would you do that why would you want to wait in line longer unless there's like some hot ass cashier but it wasn't you know what i mean so, <laughs> Uh, and then she and she was looking at. I looked at her. She had these fucking brownish, greenish eyes, hazel eyes. You yeah, know, pretty, but not these enhanced blue, gorgeous contact lenses. You should have thrown some pepper. And then she in her avoided eyes. me forever. You know what I mean? <laughs> should have thrown some pepper in her eyes. I and like, She would have had to take them out. Yeah, like, I, haha. Yeah, I would have got fired for that. <laughs> <laughs> Great idea, Rick. Prove the point. But you would <laughs> prove the point. Yeah, but uh, yeah. See, I have to avoid a cashier there because it was one of my students. That failed my class. Oh, really? yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah. Did you have a vendetta against a student? No. Or they just didn't show up ever? Um, I mean, this, the latter. Okay, okay. They didn't show up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't even like talking about it. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, I have to avoid the McDonald's beside my house because a girl that I went to school since kindergarten is working there every day, every morning. So? It's just weird. Did you date in kindergarten? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, but like, you had to look in her eyes. Like, yeah. I, f- I don't know. I'm not going to be mean. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't mean mean. I was going to say, yeah, I failed. <laughs> you know, you know, I'm, I'm just saying, you know. <laughs> but, you know, whatever. I yeah. mean. Well, let's talk about the best time of the week. My yeah. best time of the week is, um, has to deal with Aaron's worst time of the week. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll I let Aaron go first. You mean the week? <laughs> the weekend. No, we uh, the this this past Saturday, like on Friday, we were doing a stream to try to prepare for a, a tournament thing that like Gus told us about like two days before, sure. prior. Mm-hmm. So on Friday we were practicing trying to get ready for Smash to try to go up there and do that. So on Saturday, I got up early and got up there to this place where like there was nothing set up. You were, and like, Gus, right? It was just me at the time. Like Gus was on his way. Okay. Um, and then he met me there a little later. But when I first got there, and he's was, two hours closer. Yeah. He, he, lived, lived, he lived 10 minutes he, away. He lived, like, yeah, like a mile away from the place or something in in Columbus, and I drove two hours to get there. But uh, they had one one Wii U set up on a TV that had a lag to it. Oh. And that was all they had. And there was, like, three guys there. And I just walked in. I'm looking around. I'm like, okay, there's not much here. And then some guy was like, if anyone hasn't paid, come over here. We'll pay because you had to pay to be in the tournament. It was $5 for doubles, $10 for singles. We had looked on the website, and I was going to pay on there. And singles was shut down, and you couldn't you couldn't register for it. You could only register for doubles. So it said like, venue free, singles ten dollars, unavailable, uh, doubles five dollars. Register. Yeah. So I had registered for that. I brought fifteen dollars because Gus had gotten a hold of him. They said that singles was still open. The website was wrong. Oh. So I got there with my fifteen dollars, and was going to give them the fifteen dollars, and they said it was twenty five dollars. And I was like, why is it twenty five dollars? Like, well, it's 10 for singles, 10 for the venue, and 5 for doubles. And I was like, I thought the venue was free. It's like, oh, no. I was like, the website said that the venue was free. He's like, well, it was wrong. It's like, oh, okay. So then I had to go to my car, and I usually try to keep, like, a little secret spot in my truck yeah. to have, like, in case I need gas. And I, sure. for some reason, I lost my wallet, forgot my wallet, Not whatever. a secret anymore. You don't yeah. know where it is. <laughs> I mean, it's a trick. Try to find it. It was <laughs> <laughs> sweet. But, like, I just try to keep, like, some money in there. I had ten dollars. No, I had fifteen dollars because Gus showed up with twenty and needed five dollars of mine. Damn. So I paid ah. his five dollars too. <laughs> so I had to pay twenty five to get into it. Uh, Wait around. Gus got there. They started getting a few more setups set up. They ended up having uh, they had a stream set up, and then they had two, four, five, I think six setups, and then the laggy computer or the laggy screen one. Um, Gus and I did doubles. We won the first match like pretty well. And we were like, oh, good, we're doing well. You then the, right, then the right, next right. one, we went on to a stream and went against the guys that ended up winning the tournament. Yeah. And they did to us what we did the, to the first guys. Yeah, you guys got spanked. Yeah, the very match. first match, we didn't kill them at all against their Diddy and their uh, Luigi. And then the next match, they played Bayonetta. And that Bayonetta can just 
juggle like crazy. Bayonetta can just take you up to the top. And you but don't. I was so proud that I spiked a bayonet and killed her at like 20%. Oh, yeah? I was like, yeah. And that, the guy was like, fuck. <laughs> like, he was like, oh. he was, that was my proudest moment of the whole weekend. That's cool. Um, but then we end up losing to a, to a two Mario team. So there's three Marios in the match and one Samus. Because you're playing Mario. And at one point I killed myself because I was looking at the other one of the other Marios. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, like, I so hate that, that. Otherwise, I think we might have been able to beat them because they weren't as good as the other guys, but we didn't win. Um, then we went into singles, and we did pools, which they just had like, you know, they had like 32 people. They put you into pools, and then they divided it into a top 16, which is like the pros that went into that, and then they had an amateur bracket. And they would they divided it into 16 and 16, I think is what it was, of 36 people, 32 people? 32. Right? There were 44 people in the pools, I think it was, or something like that. And uh, I did. I was in the pools. I didn't win any of my matches. And then when it came to the brackets, they were like, brackets are at 5 o'clock. So Gus and I went. We had tacos. Tacos were amazing. I like that part. Yeah. Came Damn back. Damn it. <laughs> came back in and uh, was waiting for the brackets. Gus got into his match, his first match. I was waiting for my name. I never heard my name. Like, some other guy was like, hey, we're, we're me and this other guy, like, we haven't said our names. And I was like, yeah, I haven't heard my name either. Like, where, where are we in the bracket? The three of us. We're not in the bracket at all. They just didn't put us in it. I don't know if they just suspected that since, like, I'm assuming that we all did poorly. Maybe we just left or something. Because there were other people that had left, too. Like, there sh- I think Gus counted I it. I would have. I think Gus counted it. There, were, there should have been, like, eight or ten more people that should have been in the, br- in the bracket somewhere that would have been in the pools based on how many people were in the pools. Yeah. So three of us were waiting for being in the brackets, and they, we just weren't in it. <coughs> and I was like, so... Can you guys put us into the bracket, or what's going on with that? He's like, no, bracket's already done. Uh, I blame Smash.gg and blame uh, Brian over here, or whatever the hell his name was. I, I would have gave him hell. I fucking drove here two fucking hours. Yeah, and I'd be like, all right, which one of this has my money? Because I'm definitely getting that back. Yeah, I mean, we were already... I flipped your I table, know. and I'd unplug your shit, and I'd run, and I'd get naked. I don't know. You're naked. <laughs> I don't know. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get better somehow. Uh, <laughs> did it, it get just, better? It was... I think at that moment, we were drained, because Gus and I came. We, we won one match... Like, Gus had lost all his matches. Yeah. I'd lost all my matches. Yep. Like, I didn't think I was going to win the amateur one, but I, I feel like I could have played and maybe learned from yeah. like the two matches I would have been in, at least. Yeah. So. What did Gus say about the Captain Falcon? I mean, there was a Captain Falcon that just rocked him. Yeah. yeah. He said like, it was just. He was, I've seen a good Captain Falcon, like, one of the best ones, and when I watched it, no. he's actually fighting the best link, and it was a real close match, and this Captain Falcon was a movie like Lightning. Yeah, I mean, it just. You'd have to intimately know him to fight him, which I know Gus has no matchup knowledge against him, really. And uh, you guys, I know you probably don't. No. I mean, he's Not hard really. he, He's hard to fight. I, Cap, I know Ganon, but he's... He's actually a bad Ganon. matchup for Mario as well. So, so, but no, like, I mean, there were some characters, there were some people there that had these characters. I got rocked by a Ryu. Um, I went against a guy that... Gus recognized his name. So, like, he was pro enough that Gus knew his name. <laughs> yeah. And I went against his Rob, and I felt like I did decent against him just because i kind of know rob because i kind of played him in brawl a little bit that's a big thing but he still he still beat me and then the ryu i didn't even kill him at all and he he, he at one point he like did this combo thing and then just spiked me like falco used to do when he grabbed you but he didn't grab me he just had me in this little combo until he killed me oh wait a minute. So, this is when, he, when he was like duh, hitting he, he was like duh, 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 and then he jumped and then spiked me straight down like just yeah off that's the ledge. what it was so kid, it was just so tough but I, I know exactly what you're talking about that's what those kids we played in columbus like, one tried to do that to me but i knew about it so, so no, he, just, he just he me. So the, the whole tournament, like I, I was, I was, we were upset about that. Like I could have done just as much if I just didn't go. At least then I wouldn't have been zero and four on their stupid website. <laughs> that, Which they that didn't con- even that, let you into the brackets. Con me out of the brackets and yeah. didn't let me into that. And Gus and I just left and we played at his place for a little bit and then I came home. Yeah. So the the next day was, I was my whole goal was that I wanted to mow my grass because the grass it's been raining or I've been working. Yeah. So there's been like. There's, like, no time that I've been able to mow. So you had a very terrible day that crushed your spirits. Yeah, it was just... Now I, you're going, like, well, at least I drove home. Mow. It was a sad... The only thing that... I, I listened to a radio drama for Doctor Who on the way back, but still I was just kind of, like... I was just bummed the whole way back. Yeah. Yeah. And I was, like, didn't do as well. We I called you. I, I never do this, but I called you, and I... She was, like, trying to motivate me to be, like, happy. <laughs> like, don't worry, we'll do better. Yeah. The first tournament... No, we won't. First tournament in Smash Wii U, and... And it's almost the end of life. You know, oh, yeah. we haven't played for a while. These guys know matchups. These guys know stuff that, you know, we haven't. Yeah, I mean, haven't you, had... you didn't really prep for this tournament, for, you know. You did it for, like, a couple of days. Yeah. I mean. So, the next day, like, I woke up and made breakfast for the family. And then we decided we are going to go on a Pokemon hunt for a little while. Did that. 
and I needed to get uh, I needed to get my grass mowed. So I came home, and I couldn't find a gas can anywhere. So I had to get a gas can. So I left to go get a gas can. Went to the store. Um, no, I went and got a gas can with the kids when we went Pokemon hunting. I got a gas can. We came back home. We ate. Then I realized we forgot to get gas in the gas can. So then I had to leave again to go get gas in the gas can. So I filled oh, up this sucks. gas can, came back. Yeah. Um, the rotting lawnmower I couldn't fix because I didn't have the tool that uh, Melanie's dad had been working on it with to f- uh, put the new blades on it. So it sure. had no blades on it. No I didn't blades. have a tool to fix those. No tool. So I'm like, well, I'll get the push mower. Push I have mower. a push mower. I'll get that. So I went and got the push mower, put gas in it. Yeah. And then I could not get it to start. Yep. I was trying. To, I was trying to check. Did you just every, need a wrench for the push mower. For the for the for the blades. It, it, I didn't have blades. a big enough like wrench for it or something. Oh, like, that. Okay. like I didn't have something to be able to like tighten the bolts to uh, hold it on. You there. also have to and lock I didn't the pulleys wanna, like, that way you don't just spin the belt. And I didn't want to like half connect it and it's still loose and it fell off or some shit. So I I, I, I didn't want to risk that. So I'm like a push mower. I know the push mower. It, it should work. Yeah, I got it last year. Should be fine. I went got it. Wouldn't start. Put new gas in it. I sat trying to start it for a while. I was trying to check the spark plug. Like, I don't know why it's not starting. So I was like, well, I have another mower, another old push mower that's been in the shed for a while. I'll go get that. So I went to the shed to go get this old push mower. And when I opened the doors of the shed, there's just these, these wasp nests. There's like three of them. There's one big one and like two other smaller ones of these wasp nests just fucking in my shed. So like I'm like, hornets, fuck, I ain't right? going in there. Yeah, there's like hornets? wasps or hornets or whatever. Like, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not fucking with little fucking bugs with needles on the ends of their asses. I'm not dealing with it. Yeah. So I can't go in there. <laughs> So I'm like, I'm going to get the weed eater. I'll weed eat some stuff. You'll weed try eat to, long. I'll weed eat my grass if I have to. I'll go and just weed eat. Mm-hmm. So I go and get my electric weed eater, and it has none of the twine stuff. The, 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 the line. String. There's no <laughs> weed eater line in this weed eater. Jeez. Like, All right. Well, I'll go to Lowe's. I'll get some hornet spray, and I'll get some weed eater line. All right? Mm-hmm. So I leave to go to Lowe's what time? on Sunday to go get... We need a line. Yeah, what time was that? I get there mm. at like, I don't know, 7.15 or something. Sure. And they close at 7. Now on Sunday. <laughs> on Sunday, They yeah. closed at 7. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, well, fuck. So I sat there, just sat there, thinking about my weekend, how sad it's been, all the, all the, all the disappointment, all the despair. How like, sad oh, it was. I was like, well, I'll, I'll, go to, I'll go to Walmart. Walmart probably has stuff. So I went to Walmart, walked around there, I found some Hornet spray stuff. I couldn't find the weed eater line, so I went and talked to somebody. They led me to it. I'm staring. I'm like, man, I don't know what size it is. So I went and was like, I found one that a weed eater next to it that looked like mine. I compared the, the line. I'm like, that looks about right. So I took it, took it home, and sat trying to wind up this fucking weed eater line. It's too layered and stuff. It's terrible. It took me like four tries. It kept on, like, I'd mess up. I'd let go at one point and unravel the whole damn thing. Yeah. So I'd start it all over again. Fuck. So I started doing that, and, uh, and at this point, it's starting to get dark. Melanie's watching me, like, trying to keep me, like, you, you've, you've done well. Why don't you come inside? <laughs> You're like, it's been a long day. It's okay. Give you, up. You want a Mike's lemonade? <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> here you go. I'm like, <laughs> fuck. So, like, I, I'm, like I'm, fin- I'm finishing winding this fucking twine thing. I'm going to do that. So I finished that, set it down, and went inside. And then, like, that was the end of my night there. The next day... I, I was like, I'm gonna, I'd have to take a Monday off if I wasted a day. Like <laughs> no, I, 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 I had work, but when I came came back to back home, I'm like, I'm gonna mow. It was Monday or Tuesday. It might have been Tuesday because I stream on Mondays usually. What well, Sunday? But that was Sunday. Oh, okay. That, I, that was I the wasted Sunday. I spent Sunday. a wasted day doing Smash and got nothing out of that. I spent a wasted day to mow and got nothing out of that. I got Pokemon. That was fun. Yeah. That's it. So. I went and uh, was gonna mow the, the next day or the day after whatever it was. I was gonna use my weed eater. I try to use my weed eater, and I can't get the auto feed to work on it. So, like, I'll do it for a little bit, and I have to open it up, pull the twine, get it pulled out, <laughs> put it back in, and then weed eat again. Because it's not auto feeding, and it's not a bump feed. Yeah. And it's an electric weed it's eater? It's an electric weed eater. So, does it die quick, or is it corded? No, it has a cord on okay. it. Okay. So, like, I'm pulling this cord, going, and then, like, it's just not doing anything. So, I have to pull it off, pull it out. I gave up on that. I'm like, I'm going to go get my mower that was in that shed with the wasps. I already sprayed it the, the day I came back Sunday when I got the wasp spray. I've never so seen I went a in. corded weed eater. Weed, weed eater. Yeah, yeah, we used to have they're, one. Weird, they're annoying. They are <laughs> very annoying. I mean, I, I just wouldn't want a cord near where I was weed eating. <clears throat> they're heavy on the end, yeah. too. They're like, they're, like, twice as heavy as a regular weed eater, but on the end, the yeah. wrong end. It's like you're vacuuming outside. Yeah. I used to have an electric mower i used to mow jordan strikers that would be worse to have a cord gas on. What, yeah. yeah i remember holding it mowing and holding it and so, <laughs> his mom was seeing me out there and i was like cussing 
so I went back out to the shed where my uh, my mower was. I had sprayed the wasps. The wasps, the, I didn't see any wasps or hornets or whatever they were. Like they looked like they were dead. I knocked them down, sprayed them a little bit more just to make sure. <laughs> you stomp like, okay. on them. They look good. Yeah. Okay. And they look good. So then I'm going through. I get my. I'm watching out for snakes because I don't know if there's any snakes either because I hate snakes. But I'm, I pull out my lawn mower. I take it up. I'm like, all right. I know I need to add gas to it. So I I check the oil on it, and I add some gas, but I don't fill it up. Cause my last lawn mower didn't didn't work. <laughs> right. So I'm like, I'm not, I'm gonna put some gas, enough sure. gas to work to see if it starts. So I do that. I prime it like three or five pushes, whatever it is, and I go and try to start it, and I can't get it to start. And I prime it more, because it says repeat steps three through five. Sure. Prime, hold the thing, pull it. Prime, hold the thing, pull it. Prime, hold the thing, pull it, Eric. Yep. <laughs> it didn't start. <laughs> yeah. So it didn't start. So I have, I have two push mowers that don't work. I had a riding lawn mower that didn't have any blades on it. I had a weed eater that didn't do anything. Like, that was, some of that was later on. But, like, the weekend, I was like, fuck. You know, at least I'm not camping. <laughs> Like yeah. Rick. On Monday, I was here. You weren't here yet, yeah, Shane. Monday, I was saying about all this shit. And I was like, the one saving grace I had is I wasn't having to go fucking camping like, like Rick. Rick. And then Rick looks at me and says, huh? I didn't go camping this weekend. I'm <laughs> <the> fuck! <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> the one thing I kept saying. I thought you said you were going camping. <laughs> <laughs> we went to the campgrounds, and they were booked, so we had to come home. We're going to go this coming weekend. Yeah. So instead, I stayed home. I would hate to camp at a campground. I'll tell you that right there. <laughs> I mean, it's in an RV. It's well, not even. Not it's not even camping. It's camping. There's it's no internet. We, we went over this. I, um, I love it. That is fun. <laughs> so I did that, and instead, I relaxed. I played video games, and I was like, ah, you know, I should go mow the yard. And I looked out, and I realized, oh, neighbor had already mowed it. Your neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, that is terrible. And it, kept uh, on, like, it, kept, it felt like it kept permeating into my week. Like this terrible weekend I had. And then, like, on over. Monday, we came in, and we were filming, and it was like, hey, there's an audio problem on the, on the camera. So we yeah. messed around for, like, an hour, hour and a half trying to fix this audio problem. Just to figure out that it, well, it seems like our camera has some issue. Yeah, yeah. So we'll change the whole way that we film to try to like, compensate for that. Yep. And we just, we just wasted like an hour, hour and a half. Pretty much. Yeah. And then like there's just been other random things like this fucking weekend. Yeah. Just keeps going. It Everything stop. bad that's happened to me this week, I've blamed on you or a weekend. Yeah. Yeah. And, like this weekend. Maggie and Evelyn were both sick. I blame that on you. <laughs> yep. It's just, it's, uh, yeah. So. I guess that was the best part of my weekend. That's that was the best part of mine when I got to say I didn't go camping. <laughs> <laughs> and just saw the despair. That's funny. Did you, terrible. like, throw your phone or something like that? I don't Like, you've know. never thrown any kind like, of electrical fuck. device before. But you, but you were, like, on your phone. It's like, I guess my, the one good thing about this week is that I knew Rick was camping. It's like, I didn't go camping. And you're like, <laughs> fuck! And you threw it down beside the table or something. I was. Uh, I'm glad I was there to witness that. That's I feel great. bad for Shane not having witnessed that. Well, I, I feel great. I got to hear it during a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> so, but no. Some people asked about Smash Tournament. I know on my stream, I said I talk about it here. But yeah, it was just didn't go well. There was one match that was on stream. Um, they were looking for commentators. They didn't even have commentators. They were asking the people playing if they wanted to commentate. Like, hey, we need two commentators. Anyone wants to commentate? Come on up and commentate. And like, what? Like, you know, people just to commentate for it. Yeah. So there'd be matches just people playing with no one commentating. I was like, I could go up and commentate, I guess. But they made me so upset that I was like, I'm not going to. Gus gonna. actually has since played with these guys. Uh, and he said, two of the guys said, a guy, one of the guys or a couple of guys running the tournament isn't part of that group. Like, they just, like, usually it's like an in-house thing that's more casual. But it's, you know, <coughs> it's just more, it's more smooth. And they try to make a bigger deal out of this. And it wasn't ran very well. No, it was not. So, yeah. I right. guess uh, multiple people weren't expecting that many good people to show up. <laughs> Which, you know. Yeah. I mean, there were some good people. Yeah. So did so, anyone of, have any positive experiences otherwise? In it was a good week? weekend. Um, uh, my mom came back from that's Florida. True. Mm-hmm. That she was did. nice. Getting to hang out with them. Jesus. My dad's birthday was yesterday, the 4th. He's the true American. He is. He was born on the 4th of July. <laughs> So all those fireworks, oh, all for him. Yeah, for him. Is yeah, he, he thinks they're candles. He keeps trying to blow them out. <laughs> no, he's not an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
it's been kind of a, a crazy week. I, I've had a flea bomb my house. I did it for the third time last night. A flea bombed your house? And I basically couldn't. <laughs> and, and, and I, uh, and, you know, I can't get rid of these things. I keep killing them and enough survive. But yeah. you got to. Well, I mean, we're, you got to do it repeatedly in close, close intervals, I think. We're having a really bad heat advisory. It's extremely humid, and you're right by the river. Yeah. It's going to be hard to get rid of those things. Yeah, and they, they love humidity. Yeah. They love heat. It was like 80% humidity. Yesterday. Yeah, oh, and, they, and they love it. Like, fleas love that shit. They, yeah. One of the ways to kill them is obviously salt. Put salt over your, your floor. But, do that. It works for ghosts, too. Well, when I uh, had a, a uh, carpet, it, it actually worked real well. I didn't get any flea killer. I just I bought those cheap things of salt. I sprinkled it everywhere. Wait, you don't have carpet? It's yeah, hardwood, hardwood floor. floor. So you have fleas living on hardwood floor? Uh, well, yeah, but it's actually it's easier to kill them that way, supposedly, for other reasons, but yeah. just not with salt. It just seems weird that they're living on the hardwood floor, because usually yeah, they yeah, find, and, like, and they that... can't survive well there. Yeah. Uh, so that's why it's kind of perplexing. I look stuff up, like, well, you know, hardwood, doing a hardwood floor, like, the, the, like, there's recommendations what you should do. It's, like, this short, and for a carpet, is like, this long. And I have hardwood floor, and I can't get rid of them. But, like, uh, so it's just been, you know, my three-year-old baby's getting fucking bitten, it's have you done the spray outside, like by the doors and everything, where they can come in? Because there's different like bug sprays you can have that they don't want to cross that line then and stuff. Of course, yeah. I, yeah well, on the second try, I, I did that. Um, you tried moving out of Lowell. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I've gotten Lowell has fleas. That's the problem. Yeah. <laughs> well, like I've gotten them pretty much every house I've been in at least once. Uh, normally, like growing up, it was always my dog that would bring them in. You know what I mean? But this time, it's fucking just being out, like. In the grass, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? Now, because we're kind of out, not in the town of Lowell, but like on the outside in the woods. So that's been sucking. Joy's been all bitching at me. So, yeah. <laughs> um, the weekend, uh, I mean, actually, there's a lot of things that's happened in the NBA world. LeBron James hit free agency, shook the NBA world because he went from the East Coast, which West Coast, to West Coast. Uh, he's been in the East his whole life. Like, there's always like the West had all these great teams. Great players in the East had LeBron, so it's yes, yeah, well, you know now he went uh-huh. to L.A. Uh, to, to the signed Lakers, a four-year right? deal. Uh, yeah, it wasn't even a huge contract, <laughs> but I think he's trying to make room for other free agents. Uh, it really shook the NBA world. I, most people aren't upset like they were when he left Miami. It was the way he did it, the decision, the, the way it went down, just really turned people off to him. Uh, they, it, it was upsetting because it seemed like he was just chasing rings. Uh, you know he. Because he's one of the best players ever played, for sure. But when you compare him to some of these great players, they didn't leave. They didn't pack up and go team up with other people to get a ring. Uh, now everyone's doing it. You know, so it, it's it's a turnoff, but everyone does it. Like, they just don't care. Like, you know what, let's just fucking join forces and create a super team and beat everybody. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but he didn't even do that. He went to L.A. L.A. was terrible. And he went there, and he's kind of by himself. Right. They signed a couple people that, you know... Like uh, Rondo, I mean, they they signed some people, Rajon Rondo, and we'll see how he does. But it's it just real weird. But you know, Lakers they have a tradition of great basketball. Uh, Magic jo- uh, Magic Johnson, Kobe Bryant, you know. So now LeBron Shaq. James, yeah, and Shaq. Now we have LeBron James, and I'm a Lakers fan. Uh, ge- uh, you know, generally. Does Kobe still play? Uh, no, he retired. No. He was one of the oldest guys in the league. He retired after a terrible season, coming back from injury. On his last game. Mm-hmm. He, uh, when they were losing, they, they didn't make the playoffs. They were playing his last game, sold out. All these celebrities are there. Uh, he's coming up injury. He was terrible. It was last year. He scored 60 points, mm-hmm. more than anyone did that entire year. In his last game, 40-year-old man. It was nuts. It was pandemonium. It was real cool to see him go out that way. But now he's retired. He's gone. He's making movies. He actually won, a, he won an Oscar for a short film. Yeah. The only athlete to ever do that. Yeah, I heard about that. <laughs> Uh, so he's doing his thing and he's having a good time, but LeBron, you know, he wants to create a media empire. So it makes sense for him to move out to LA. He already owned a house out there. Sure. He's going to see so is Denzel that- on the sidelines. He's always there. He's going to see Jack Nicholson on the <laughs> sidelines. You know what I mean? Yeah. All the celebrities go there. It makes sense so for is him. That your favorite thing of the week is that he left. It's went- the most interesting thing in the basketball world. Uh, one yeah. of my favorite things is. I, well, which is also one of the shittiest things was uh, uh, for our new floor, we uh, we're gonna have a workout room, which which is good for us because we sit all day, and we're gonna film a workout series. Um, that you keep saying. No, we will. I'm film something with you later today. Remember, I told you. 
Okay, yeah, I leave by. Already, already let you know. <laughs> um, anyways, so I had to take apart this uh, Olympic rack, which wasn't too terrible taking apart. It's not that hard, but I did an Eric's basement, which has a lot of our old stuff in it, and I did it like at what twelve at night. And uh, man, it was dark, damp, scary. And, uh, no, but I'll tell you what. One thing, the saving grace was it's freezing down there because mm-hmm. your air conditioning's right there. Oh yeah. And it's leaking out into the fucking garage. <laughs> it is like 60 degrees, mm-hmm. 58 degrees, and it's humid and hot as a motherfucker. Yep. So it's the coldest I've been, most comfortable I've been mm. it's right for two weeks. Right under where I <laughs> sleep. Dude, it's, it's terrible right now because like, I'll have my, uh, like my, my truck, my air conditioning on, yeah. have it so cold in there, but it gets so cold inside that it starts fogging up all the windows outside because it's so hot and humid everywhere. Yeah. yeah. So then I had to turn on my defroster so I can see to drive, but yeah. I don't want it. I want to be cold. I opened my door to, co- to leave to come out, and my glasses were immediately. <laughs> oh, I close it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, it's terrible. terrible. I hate it. It's I hate like it so much. Curse. Yeah. So, so I say to Melanie, I was like, man, I think I got spoiled in, in LA where it was just hot. There's no humidity. But it wasn't humid. It was just hot. It's a she's desert. Like, <laughs> she's like, was it better? She's, I'm like, it was just hot. You didn't have this sticky, terrible. You know, f- foggy shit stuff. Yeah, yeah. We walked she's like, we should, we should go like, out there. I was like, like eh. no, was it you? It was. I was with somebody. It, it we walked down the stairs. It had a smell though. I walked down the stairs. I open the definitely. door and I go, ugh. Oh. And some lady looks over at me and I'm like, not you. <laughs> uh, in L.A. <laughs> no, here. Oh, I just because of the humidity. Oh, okay. L.A. had that terrible smell. I will never get that. Terrible. Yeah. Terrible. But you know, it, it, there's no humidity because it's in a fucking desert where people aren't supposed to live. We just set up civilization and we set up water so we can live there. I'm pretty sure I know the answer to this because we're all Americans. But has anyone been keeping up with the World Cup? Yes. No. There you go. Yes. A little bit. <laughs> is uh, is well, that the teams I care about got eliminated? Is that so. racing? No. Uh, I think Shut it's fuck up, something to do with bobsledding. Fucking Jesus. asshole. It's football, right? It's, no, yeah, I definitely have. The yeah, teams I eliminated. Football. But it's not our football. Oh, well. Eric, we had all I'm these just glad plates. England went down. <laughs> <laughs> no, anyways. So, well, well, anyway, so I'm in this garage building this thing, and there's <clears throat> I'm wearing my boat shoes, and I didn't want to get I don't and, and I had to stand in a puddle, that's pretty much above the boat shoes. I was standing for long enough. Like I don't want to get these things soaking wet because they're fucking expensive as hell. Yeah. So I took them off, and I'm sta- sitting there in the dark. Sweating like a motherfucker because it's like I had to leave the door open to shine my light for my car so it's not cold anymore. Mm-hmm. Humanity's leaking in. The my brights from my car are shining my face. I'm like trying to unscrew, you know, and I have to I have a ratchet on one side and a wrench on the other. <laughs> What'd you call your wife? And so basically, I had to do that forever. And then I'm looking down. I'm just sitting there barefoot in his basement, in in a in a, in a water puddle. You know what I mean? A puddle of water. Uh, and that just took forever and then i was thinking you know what i'm just gonna do this some other time but i kept pushing through got a packed up my car drove here my son who spent the night here because we were flea bombing the place helped me carry everything upstairs i was putting together eric came by like a 130 or two what? or something right it wasn't that late well i mean i got at your house at midnight so however long it took me or 11 50 so however long it took me to undo that shit and then you came by after it was definitely not that late I went and got dinner, like, then. Yeah. Well, however late it was. Yeah. Where'd you get dinner from? And then Eric helped me put together, like, you know, in this motherfucker, probably 10% of it, okay? (laughs) And then I realized, we were looking at it, and I said, you better go. And and instead of saying, you know, I'll help, he's like, yeah, I I just came here to do something. Well, I I showed up, I was like, I I had to to do something. I'm like, I gotta be like, five minutes. And she's like, oh, okay, okay. Hey, will you hold this? And I was there for, like, 40 minutes. I know. I, I, it's not like I, I don't want to work. I was, I was at home fucking editing. Yeah, I know. Like I have five minutes. I'm like, okay, okay, hold this. Thank so you. Don't, don't act like I'm the asshole. Help me edit. Well, <laughs> what happened was I've I, been storing this this shit in my house. That's my contribution. <laughs> I put, yeah, I put it. Uh, I realized we put it together the wrong way. Uh-huh. I use these screws. That were too short. I realized I need them for something else. So I take it all apart. I put it together. I finished a little before, like sometime between 4 and 4.30. Is I that finished. the thing over in the corner right now? Yeah, the Olympic that, weight rack. That now we may have to take apart and put over into the other room. <laughs> the power cage. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Depending on what we do with it, it might take it apart. But it, it might fit through the door. I don't know. But I want to take it apart as much. 
for sure. Um, but I'm glad I got it up. I feel good about it. It's a real nice weight rack. You'll start but putting some bitch, shelves up. But the thing is, it fucked up my sleep schedule. I've been late every day this week, pretty much, except I slept here last night. Um, Because, you know, I just did it. I woke up at, like, what, 10? Or I don't know when I woke you up. I can't remember. And, the, and top it all off, I looked out my window at 3 in the, three in the morning. Calvin's in the parking lot. Throw the football with another homeschool boy. <laughs> no, he wasn't. Throw the football. What are these men doing? Just like Tommy Wait, Russo. Two in the morning? It was when the townhouse was closing. It was like 2.30, right? Mm. No, it was, it was like... Why are you throwing a football? It was like two. Is that your... When? <laughs> he's allowed? Why not? What's well, he's allowed. That? I just thought it was kind of funny. I, I guess I just didn't <laughs> imagine you out there throwing a football. Why not? I'm not... Just because I was saying right, saying right now. Well, yeah. Go ahead, Sam. I'm not going to. All right. But then I went out there and threw them for a couple minutes. And we don't have enough time. <laughs> gave Calvin a neck massage because he had a headache because he had a toothache. Is it that finger one? Hmm? That finger massage thing you do? Oh, that? No, I'm talking like right to the back. No, I'm talking when he does the... No. no. Jesus, no. That's that's no, no, weird man. and fucking... Shit, no, man. You're I reckon he gets your ass to you, right? Things. Oh, yeah. He, he grabs your shoulders and his massage is like... That's what the typewriter's one thing I do. It's it's mostly before I ask for fellatio. So, you know, I'm like, <laughs> He usually gets her. <laughs> that typewriter. Men, women. I don't know. Didn't work on me. <laughs> it's like you're reprogramming them to take your fellatio. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, and then I hung out with them for a little bit. Woke up the next day, and you were still had a terrible headache. Oh, yeah. Uh, and I didn't, but then I got a headache later that day on Sunday. Joy left at like 11. I stayed till like 6. Got to lay on that couch because I had a terrible headache the whole time. And that was my weekend. Uh, <laughs> I couldn't get up because I See, I, I could have just not done anything one day and been just as good <laughs> as if I would have went to that Smash tournament. Yep. yep. I need get a cup. Eric, what, what was your best thing of the week? Um, me and my girlfriend were talking about ranch dressing for some reason. What? <laughs> I don't remember why. <laughs> But I, and she was like, "Where'd ranch? Where's ranch come from?" And we were either thinking about this, you know, bearded farmer that developed it on his farm. Yeah. It's not some some plumber in Alaska created ranch dressing. There you God go. bless him. God just bless him. Thank that man. And I, I remember what, for some. It was just the way we were talking about it was just funny. He was laughing about. It. I'm gonna mention this is my favorite part of the week. He's Alaska <laughs> plumber changed my life. Was it an accident? <laughs> I don't know. I don't think he like fell into a toilet. Created ranch. <laughs> well, like, wasn't <laughs> I was wondering, like, I don't know. I'm sure you're trying to do something. Like silly putty, right? Yeah. Wasn't that made that like, you were trying to make some kind of glue thing or something like mm-hmm. that? And they ended up accidentally making silly putty. Oh, yeah. The rubber band was also an accident. Yeah. Antibiotics was accidental. There's been a bunch of accidental stuff. Definitely. Calvin, what was your best best part of the week? Was it throwing a football with a homeschool kid? No, he wasn't homeschooled, and it was my mom coming home from Florida. Yeah, he already said it. You were throwing a football with your mom coming home from Florida that you thought was a homeschool Don't kid? Don't intentionally misunderstand <laughs> what I said. That's pretty funny. <laughs> uh, you well, how long was she gone? Uh, like two like, and a half months. Yeah, a long really? time. Yeah. yeah. What the was she there for again? Taking care of her parents. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Her mom uh, broke her foot. Okay, okay. Maggie had a terrible <laughs> weekend as well. Rich. Um, cause she, she went to go pick up Calvin's mother, mm. but she, an hour, like out of Marietta, she got hit with terrible diarrhea and vomiting. No, oh, meat and oh. <laughs> And so she had to stop at every rest stop on the way. Oh, it was man. like 45 minutes late picking her up. Yeah. Wait, it was just, to Florida? No. To Columbus. To, Columbus. Oh. to the airport. I was like, <laughs> every rest stop along the way for 16 states. And only 45 minutes late, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> So, <laughs> sorry. That makes sense. Pretty crazy. <laughs> All right, a bunch of people have been asking us uh, when we're planning on seeing, or if we are planning on seeing Ant-Man and Wasp. We're going to see it tomorrow mm-hmm. at uh, in the morning. So that review should be coming up pretty soon. I'm pretty excited to see it. I liked the first one a lot. Yeah, me too. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't really have any expectations other than what I've seen in the trailer. It seems like that trailer was playing every time we saw any other movie. So, yeah, looks cool. Looks fun. Yeah. Excited to see it. I'll yes. be excited to, to watch it. Keep this imagining movie. his big Pez dispenser flipping through the air. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's in my mind. Hello, kitty. Yeah. I want to check it out, but also, is it going to have any kind of connection to Infinity War? Or any nudity? Yeah. Yeah, true. yeah, hard to say if it will or not. I've been watching Avengers Earth's Mightiest Heroes, the cartoon show, oh. and it is separate from the movie universe and got canceled because of the movies. So. <laughs> 
<laughs> which is very sad. <laughs> but um, so there's a lot of Ant Man in that, obviously, and it's it's gotten me ready to see more Ant Man stuff. There's a, you got to see Ragnarok. I do. Yeah, that's good too. It's Thor. It's your favorite. And Logan. God, man. Ah, uh, Logan. Logan is so fucking good. Who said? I can't remember who it was that said Tom Cruise to be or not to no. be. Emilio Escovez. They, they were talking What's to that? Hugh Jackman. Green. They were talking to Hugh Jackman and said, like, Kenny Loggins. They cry themselves to sleep over the beauty that is Logan. Arnold Schwarzenegger. No. I can't uh, remember who it was. I'm not it was sure. On, uh, I haven't heard it. Barley. it was on a British talk show. Patrick Stewart? No. North and, <laughs> uh, Graham. Graham Norton. <laughs> Graham Norton show is what it was on. See? But. Told you. I can't uh, remember. I mean, it really is like a beautiful Whoops. artistic film. You yeah. Know, that, Graham, kinda, that Graham Norton show is like the best show. Talk show. Yeah, it time. really is. It's very I good. I love it. It's one of those things that, like, it's like Whose Lines Anyway, <laughs> where you watch one, and then, like, three hours later, you're fucking watching <laughs> yeah. at night, and it's, you know, it's yeah. 5 a.m. and shit. <laughs> Definitely. You're smoking, watching Graham Norton. I got get more. I got get more. So you started watching Graham Norton at 2 a.m.? Sometimes. A second half of that question that was Me on too. Discord, and if you have questions that you'd like to talk about, us to talk about in the next week of the podcast, check out our Discord and put suggestions there. Yeah. Uh, with the summer halfway over, sadly, I was wondering, what's your guys' best vacation and or summer memory growing up? Mm. Growing up? Hmm. I mean, in fourth grade, we went to Disney World. Me, my brother, my sister, my dad, my mom. My, my dad would go on vacations when we were kids, but when we grew up, he's like, hey, I don't want to go on vacations. I have a farm. <laughs> That's my vacation. <laughs> dad, you farm every day. <laughs> you know? Um, <laughs> No. Right, I'm a store now. <coughs> okay. To Disneyland. Disneyland was D- probably my favorite. Uh, it was like the year before they opened Animal Kingdom. So we saw the giant tree, but we couldn't go over there. <laughs> it was terrible. Um, no, no Myrtle Disneyland. Beach. Didn't you go to Myrtle Beach all the time, too? Yeah, we went to Myrtle Beach all the time. We're going to Myrtle Beach fucking tomorrow. No, Saturday, I mean. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm going, I'm going okay. to Myrtle Beach with Myrtle Beach, Shane. I know. I'm going to go see the turtles. Oh, oh, man. Philippe. Take, take, take the camera with you. Yeah. Vlog it. It's a family thing. Uh, my, it, it was terrible memories at the time, but <laughs> I look back on it now more fondly, would be making some of our action movies <laughs> yeah. during the summer. <laughs> <Is it> vacation? <laughs> yeah. Because it was so stressful. Like I was seriously trying to make a movie. No one could remember their lines. Everything always went wrong. Like It was very stressful at the time. Yeah, but One of those movies, I got hurt all the damn time. I know. I, everyone was like, that's the theme with you. Like, it was a terrible time doing that movie. Because, like, right off the bat, like, we didn't even start filming anything yet. And we were, like, doing uh, BB guns, like, were our weapons that yeah. we were using for this, like, like this secret <laughs> agent. Like, they were always, like, a, like a Solid Snake, Metal Gear Solid kind of theme thing. Pretty much. And uh, this BB gun that was empty, empty, with quotations. Um, Ryan, it was our buddy Ryan, kept on pumping it up. And then he would aim it somewhere and shoot. And one time he aimed it at me and shot, and I went, ah! I was just sitting playing a game, I'm like, ah! Asshole, you shot me! I don't know if I said asshole, but it's the worst. <laughs> yeah. um, he's like, no, I didn't. I moved my hand, and he goes, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> like, there it was, was terrible. And then, like, Rick's, I think Sherry, your mom, yeah. went and opened it up and just shook and dumped out all these BBs that were inside it of this empty gun. So many. There were so many of them. <laughs> Jesus, please. Man. And then later on, uh, we used for our gunshot sounds. We used firecrackers. Speaking of Fourth of July, we would just yeah. we would just have like what are they black cats? Is that what they were? Yeah, black cats. Like there'd just be I don't know what twenty firecrackers on this thing. We'd light it, run away. All right, pretend that you're shooting. You know, like you have a machine gun or a pistol, <laughs> and it's like pop, 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 and you're just like <laughs> <laughs> trying like listen for a pop and make a movement. So I mean, it was terrible. All the single ones, guys, were like taking and lighting and tossing them. Like, haha, this is fun. Ryan was my favorite because he had an assault rifle. And, like, he'd stand with it, like, down like this. And and he'd do, like, a little shuffle. He'd go, like, <laughs> 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 like, whenever he was shooting. It wasn't like this or something. <laughs> but I just thought I was going to light a firecracker and throw it, too. And while everyone else was like, Shh, pop, mine was, Shh, pop. <laughs> like, I didn't get let go of it. <laughs> So I blew, it blew up in my hand. My fingers were all numb. Like, I couldn't feel them. 
Like these fingers, like my this finger and this thumb were blackened. Yeah. <laughs> like. I mean, a rocket almost landed on my head. Yeah, my, my giant German Shepherd loved fireworks, and he tried to eat them. Mm-hmm. And so he'd get in the shot. We'd have to, like, throw a stick and then film the shot and the time it took him to come back in because then he'd try to get in the shot and yeah. just bark and do Some shots would things. end with him coming back into the scene. <laughs> it's so funny. There's something great about that. No, those were fun times. Um, we were going to a friend's house, and they were, sh- we were letting up bottle rockets, and then we were, like, we were in a uh, junkyard. We were, like, shooting them at cars and old cars and stuff. Then we found this giant, like, it's like this metal pipe that was perfect for shooting off bottle rockets, you know? It was, like, I don't know, five feet long. It was, you know, they go so fast. And one of my friends, it was, like, getting ready to, and this was by the interstate, right? And he, at one point, it's, and he just turns and points it at the interstate. Like, what are you doing? And it goes by right in front of a car, 70 miles an hour. And the car's like, like this. <laughs> Where's get the fuck out of here, Brandon? That's the end of the story, but you know, that could have killed someone. Now, what was he thinking? It was, his name was Mark. He was fatter than me. He was a fat kid in class. <laughs> Look at Matt Mark. If it was for him, I'd be the fat kid in class. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm trying to think of the best. I had so many great summers. I mean, really, I just, I, mean, I had a pretty, in, in a lot of respects, I had a pretty great childhood in terms of the fun I had. Definitely, I had a lot of fun. More fun, I think, than, than a lot of people. Um, I spent a summer in Cincinnati uh, um, with my cousins, uh, you know, who, you know, and they're, they're in their 20s, and I was, you know, like 17 or 16, I think, and that's when, uh, uh, I mean, it, it, I guess what was cool is I stayed there for three weeks, and we watched all the Star Wars movies. Uh, we hung out with a bunch of chicks, brought them back to his place, which one of the first times I had, like, a place to do that with, like, no parents or nothing. You know what I mean? It was just that's pandemonium. And you came back, and you wanted the third shoot house. <laughs> um, well, I wanted something like that after I read The Great Gatsby because there's a girl that I wanted, and I, you know, just, you know, as long as I didn't get shot and killed in the end. <laughs> like this guy had a pretty good plan, you know what I mean? <laughs> but uh, by the time I, everything was put in motion, I put the idea in my friend's head. And it took him, he sat on it for a couple years. And by that time, she graduated. And my senior year is when we got it, when she was a freshman in college. Gotcha. So b- before that, I had a camper. But I couldn't, I, could, I got chicks to that thing. But they so you went camping every day? Well, I lived in a camper, yeah. Um, That's and that said. was really fun. That was uh, the first time that happened. Outside a house. <laughs> was that it, was uh, was it was it just like next to the house? Yeah, yeah. it was oh. by a garage. It was in between Zach's grandma's and Chase, yeah, Chase Dad's yeah. House. So we were in the woods. It was like Brad's camper, just yeah. across the street. Yeah, we weren't in the woods. Uh, but uh, <coughs> that summer, summer before junior year, when we got in there the first time, that was just one of the best summers ever. Because that's when it was, I was free. I just did that, and I've been free ever since, pretty much. You know, what I mean, for my parents, <laughs> for my parents at least. But summer before senior Except year was pretty please. special. What? Sorry. What'd you say? Except for those fleas. <laughs> <please. laughs> <laughs> summer You're before free. senior year was pretty damn special with these guys. Because uh, it's when we were trying to find a place to live. And we got the third treat house. And we went camping. We were at Burger King. We saw the listing. We called. They said be there in an hour. We went over. We ran over. We, we were like running up and down the stairs like idiots. Like this is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna put a bar right here. Yeah. Yeah. This is where all my action figures are gonna go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Maybe a pool table That's right here. Went. Steve's hair will go here. <laughs> <laughs> well, Steve um, moved in like much later. Yeah. But I mean, I just had a lot of good summers. I mean, just being in high school with my friends. We did whatever we wanted, man. And it was just, it was. I'll never forget it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, probably one of my favorites would have been, like every other year, my uh, the Elliott side of my family has a reunion, mm-hmm. and uh, it was it's been in North Carolina, uh, it was in around Gatlinburg, Tennessee, which has like just this long road of just a bunch of shit. Just you, there's there's shows, there's there's I think Dolly Parton, Wait, whatever world is around Gatlinburg, there. Tennessee. Yeah. Oh, that's where I went on my honeymoon. Yeah, like they have a ton Dollywood. Of, yeah, Dollywood is over there. That's I went to just, Dollywood. As I was saying, huh. Dolly, Dolly Parton's like theme park. Yeah, place. it has a lot of water rides. Yeah, so like they have that down there, yeah. like all kinds of stuff. And Get we went to this wet. like sm- Smoky Mountain Resort place that had this, it was this, everyone had different cabins. So like my family got a cabin. This cabin uh, was an A-frame cabin. 
It had a jacuzzi tub with a shower. It had, on the back deck, it had a hot tub. On the master bedroom upstairs, it had a back deck that had its own hot tub. Oh. And then on the, the, the hot tub one downstairs, if you went around the corner, there were tosses and everything. But I believe that was also the same year that uh, we were down going to Gatlinburg trying to figure out what to do, what all there was and stuff. And uh, some of my cousins came back saying that they had bungee jumped. I was like, bungee jumping? That sounds like fun. And, like, they, it was, I forget how much it was, but if you pay for it and you get up there and you chicken out, they keep your money. You don't get it back. You just walk down in shame, yeah. you know? <laughs> <laughs> so, I was like, I really want to do it. He's like, you better not chicken out. And my, my cousin Scott was like, I'll pay for you to go, but you have to jump. You can't not jump. Yeah. And, How old were you? Uh, I don't know. This probably would have been like 12 or 14 or something like that. Okay. I, I think I was 14. <laughs> like, I had to have an adult sign saying it was okay for me to go. So, I can't even. I remember just not being able to jump off the fucking top diving board. You know, they had like the three levels. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I gotta fucking climb back down the ladder. Yeah. You gotta move all those other people out of the way. I can't way. imagine the bungee jumping. <laughs> move all the people out of the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh but i was like i was like i think i can do it and my uncle danny who at this point is probably like 60 something years old was like i'll do it <laughs> i was like what he's like yeah you're gonna go i'll go too my uncle danny was a crazy crazy man like he was he he went deer hunting he had plenty of guns he he used to like do like bike riding type stuff and all kinds of stuff at one point he had had an accident on his motorcycle in which it like he had his scar on his skull where he had hit his head and it peeled back oh, his God. skin and he laid in a ditch for like it was 30 minutes to an hour i think it was before anyone found him in rain next to a pasture which is shit <laughs> pouring into his head Jesus. So they called him shit for brains but like, <laughs> <laughs> but like he was he was he was that guy who was just like he would do anything they, he was like he was the crazy uncle you know what i mean like he was so he's like i'll do it I'm like all right so i went up there with him and he jumps. I was like, well, he jumps. I got to jump. It didn't kill him. Yeah. <laughs> like, he's good. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so I jumped. And, like, it was like a three. Uh, it, was, it was three heights. I think each one was at least a story. So I, I jumped from, like, a fairly high thing into this giant balloon, like, pillow oh, type of okay. thing. So it wasn't, oh, like, off okay. a bridge. But oh. it was, like, jumping from, like, the top of this building. At least but, okay, so, but it doesn't like it's not a bungee jump. It, it's not, go, yeah, yeah. it is a bungee jumping. Oh, it is. It is. What? So, you, so I jump and then it would pull you up and then down and then up and then they would release a thing and then you would go down oh. and then you would keep going down until you landed into that thing. Oh, okay. okay. So it was bungee jumping, but like gotcha. they had a giant pillow down there. But it, it was. So they didn't. They didn't winch you fun. back up. They just let you fall to this. Yeah, pillow they wouldn't thing. pull okay. you back up. They let you go down there. Gotcha. And then okay, that's. I think sense. I could jump because like I've jumped off things before. But it, like the going up and down might make me sick. You yeah, know what I'm especially <laughs> upside I just, down. I just yeah. be—I don't know. I had to be—I had to lose more weight. I don't want to be like so. You have to now. I don't want. You I, have I don't to, want you have to, to lose weight. Anyways. I don't want to fucking get all the way up there. And the guy's like, "How much you weigh?" And I'm like, "I don't know, like 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 three hundred. Two and five. He's like, like three hundred or more. I'm like like three hundred. And he was like. Okay, get on, go ahead. Uh, <laughs> I'm probably good. I'm like, yeah, I know. I'm not doing well, it. Hey, what time is it? Yeah, go on up there, yeah. boy. Get up there, boy. Yeah, all right. You already paid. What time is it? Like, yeah, right, okay. It's like, supervisor's over there. He ain't in for I wouldn't want to do it because I'd be afraid I'd break it. Not because I'm fat, just because I break things. You do you break, do break a lot of things. Dude, there's a video. It's terrible, but it's this girl. She's, <laughs> she's nervous, and she's, like, you know, getting ready, like, on the edge. And <laughs> right before she, like, almost jumps, she's, like, she's chickening out. This guy goes, oh, no, and he's holding a, a, a yeah. cord broken. He's like, oh, no, and they push her. <laughs> oh, my God. They, go, <laughs> they throw it down there, too. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's so oh, no. horrible. <laughs> I've seen that with roller coasters. Yeah. yeah. Where, where, where they, like. Where, where, like, a guy will throw down a boat. Yeah, and like, like pick oh, it up and be shit. like, "Oh, wait a second, and then it just goes off. <laughs> like the, uh, a, yeah, the <coughs> bouncy chairs, right? Yeah, they go up and slingshot they ones. Yeah, slingshots. Yeah, they yeah. do that all the time. Dude, I've oh. seen ones where it's like, uh, have you seen the video where it's like, the, it was like a, I think it was a guy or a girl, and then like this chunkier <laughs> little kid, right? And I think it's on a slingshot thing. You're like, oh, mm -hmm. and she's like, oh, he's like, I'm scared, I'm scared, I don't want to, I want to go, I don't want to, no, it's be fine, it'll be fine, and like. He's going and he's like falling out of it the well, whole time. He's like, ah! chunky. And the thing, the th like you know, he has a lot of room up here. He, yeah, he's tied right here, so he's just like, like 
going up and down with that thing. Yeah. Ah, ah, this is going to die. Yeah. Like, yeah. And died, his mom's going, Woo! Uh-huh. Isn't this yeah, his, is that, wait, wait, He's wait, like swimming to the top and slamming to the bottom. Yeah. I saw something recently of a guy, of a kid, and I think it was a mom, and the kid, and my, my better work, it was something like that, but it was, he's, he's trapped down like that, mm-hmm. and he's like screaming, ar, ar, like making all kinds of noises. That might be the same one. I oh, remember so he was, fucking he was, he was funny. Like chubbier kid, and he's like, I, this kid I was, mean, fat, this kid was a fatty. Yeah, I mean, it, bonafide fatty. Yeah. It was funny, but it was also <laughs> terrible. Like that poor kid, mm-hmm. I think he was going to die. One of the funniest ones I've seen was this guy that he like easily faints. So he's going, ah! <laughs> Yeah. And then he wakes up and he's... <laughs> 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 he's back yeah. out. Is it, it's hilarious. Is it shot from the side? No, it's shot from the front. Oh, okay. That's you the you G-Force is going to make people... You see him like... I, I, I've seen him... I'll show you. <laughs> the G-Force is going to make people pass out. Yeah. yeah. I used to ride roller coasters. That was my other favorite thing is that we used to go to Cedar Point or Kings Island <laughs> fairly regularly. So I rode like all the roller coasters and stuff there and like... Some of them were, like, I beat, I, uh, I don't want to, like, okay, I wrote it once, I'm going to ride the other ones I like better. <laughs> but, like, some of those, like, my mom was on one when she was younger, mm-hmm. and she said that it was her and her cousin riding it, and the bar came up in the middle of it, and, like, Grandma was sitting behind them in another seat. She grabbed her and pulled her back oh down into it. Oh, my God. Jeez. Uh, <laughs> that's terrible. Yeah. I remember I the last time my mom went on a, uh, you done? <coughs> okay. The last time my mom went on a roller coaster. It was one of the ones that, maybe Cedar Point, maybe King's Island, but it's one of the ones that, like, cupped your head like this, you know? Yeah. It was, like, around your head. Like a vice. She had earrings on. Ah! And it was, like, cutting into it, so you got off, and there was, like, little holes in the back of her neck and stuff. He's like, I'll never, ever go on another roller coaster, Mark, ever! (laughs) (laughs) And I was like, I'm not taking them. Come on, Trish. (laughs) (laughs) No, I don't really remember that. Rick? I want to go skydiving. I always loved roller coasters. Yeah, skydiving was always on my list. I always enjoyed roller coasters and stuff. We should go skydiving. Like yeah. a blind wave thing. Fat kid, I guess. Fat kid on roller coaster. We could do that. Eric, do you want to go skydiving? We, we went skydiving as a blind wave thing. It's a good video, but... It would. Have no, wait, all of us... The, wait, with... the, hang on. The first time you go, you got to be attached to somebody, right? What yeah, else? I mean, you... I want to see who it, Eric's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, A little, little 14-year-old girl or something? <laughs> no! Why would you say that? You're laying on her ass. get, like, killer. Terry Crews <laughs> or something. <laughs> <laughs> Remember me? Remember what I said a couple weeks ago? I said, I'm going to get the guy. If something's going to go wrong, he's going to fucking get on my knife and cut me off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You know? Like, like the, the, the parachute, like, like, folds up. He's like, oh, what are you doing? I'm like, what? He cuts me off. <laughs> Sorry, dude! He goes up and he's falling. That'd be so great. That'd be so great. Uh, when I was a senior in high school, actually, uh, I basically uh, paid for me and a girl to go. Uh, <clears throat> this is when Joe and I weren't quite a thing yet. Uh, I paid for us to go skydiving. And basically, uh, she was 17, I was 18. And, her, and uh, after I basically paid for myself and was saving the money for her, her. Uh, she wasn't able, her, her dad wouldn't let her do it. So I didn't take her. That was the closest I ever went. I would love to go. That'd be fun. I would, I would like to. You guys ever watching Practical Jokers? Yeah. One of the guys is like deathly, deathly afraid of heights, but one oh, of his yeah. punishments, like, you get a punishment if you lose three times in a row. Uh huh. And one of his punishments is like they surprise him with skydiving. <laughs> oh, man. And he screams the whole way down. Like, which, they're, they're, like, which they, one he, was he's it? He's connected to it. Murray. He's, oh, connect, he's man. connected to it. Like the guy. And the guy's like at the. At the door, like one, he's like, ah! but he has to. Like that's the part of the point of the game. Like, yeah, if you if you you're lose, you can't like, at any yeah, time. If you, you lose, cannot you refuse have to punishment. Do the punishment. You can't not. You can't say no. <laughs> yeah. So he's he's, like, he's holding on to this guy, ah, ah, and the guy's like what? And he jumps out, and then a punishment they get like a year later or something is Justin Bieber. He, mother he, asked no, he gets to choose the other three's tattoos. And that one, the tattoo that guy got was, he looks kind of like a ferret. He, like his face is kind of like <laughs> moly, you know? And it's a little ferret jumping out of a plane screaming. <laughs> is his tattoo. Aww. And then the other one got a, a cat, and it says like 38, has three cats, lives alone. <laughs> is his tattoo. And the other guy's tattoo was fucking uh, uh, Jaden Smith. Jaden Smith. <laughs> yeah. Oh, That's yeah. right. I remember yeah. you saying that. Like, what the yeah. hell? That's the worst this is going to be on my, my life forever. <laughs> you know? Oh, was that it's Q? like super detailed and everything. Yeah. Was, that, was that Q? No, it was uh, Sal. He was oh, the one Sal. that. You just talked about that. That was funny. So you're saying these are punishments. What are they punishments for? They have a game show uh, called Impractical Jokers where they they have challenges. Like you have to go 
do this. If you do it, you win. If you don't, you lose. Like one of them, one of the games that they had was strip high five, where they would stand in like a big giant walkway in New York and try to get high fives from people. If that person didn't high five them, they had to remove an article of clothing. Yeah. Like those are the kind of things they have to do. And that would get one, harder. The it yeah. less clothing okay, you What tattoo would you make? Because I know I, I know I make you get Tom fucking Cruise. <laughs> <laughs> like right on your pec. Like it's one of those detailed ones where it's like half muscle and did everything. They, did he but choose, Tom Cruise is behind there. Did he choose the location or did they choose the location? He chose the, what it was. The show chooses the location. Yeah. And and the challenge. It's Basically, like a mix we go of here like, and we have to do this thing. No, it's some like, of the tattoo. Oh. No, they got to choose who the They ta- chose the tattoo yeah. location, but he chose yeah. what it was of, yeah. right? Like yeah. One of them had so it like, on the back of like a, his leg or like right here. When I what tattoo would you make me get? I don't know if I could say it on one, stream. Really? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I don't know what I have you get. What? Like, uh, like a detailed... Uh, like, like open Christian, Bible, like, like thing right there, right <laughs> yeah. on, just right on, like yeah, the scripture, scripture that which one? Can we talk about um, uh, like the maybe some el- the unbelief. lady that loves like donkey dicks. <laughs> that one. I don't know. Probably some unbelievable some islanders. Yeah. Something I don't know. Maybe that. Like only a fool. The, 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 only the fool will say God doesn't exist. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Was there? I don't know. I think when you Bill Cosby around your back, lower back. Bill Cosby. Yeah. Yeah, it was like a. Oh. I think someone would be like, ah, let him have balls for it's bad enough. (laughs) I don't know. I thought someone was gonna be like, give Aaron, give Aaron like it's his face with like a whole head of hair, or maybe my face, Fabio hair, and it's like what I used to be, (laughs) (laughs) or maybe my face on your ass. Why? (laughs) No, he gets to choose the location. Okay. Townsend is saying his friend was on the show and they got him to climb into the back of a trunk. Yeah. The, uh, Sweet. I don't know what that means. I don't right. know. Like, climb into some stranger's trunk and, like, I, I don't know. Like, one of the punishments was they strapped this guy. They put him in a tux. They strapped him to, like, a uh, like a dolly so they can move him. And then you find out all of their friends and family are there, and he marries his sister legally. He marries his sister. Like, takes a picture of his woman. <laughs> like this guy, like, ah! you know? oh, that's... and they had to legally get divorced. Why? <laughs> that is funny. He's like, remember that time I married your sister? <laughs> Jeez. Oh, Wait, so they married? He married someone else's sister? Yeah, as a punishment. As yeah. a punishment, he got his his sister was married. Not okay. he. Not he I thought married. He married no. his. I mean, sister. like, no. you got I mean, as, like Shane straps me down and marries my sister. Okay. Yeah, that's legally. That's how it would be. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I thought he was like Shane went and married his own sister. Yeah. Like, oh, that's a crazy weird joke. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh man. There's a bunch of really funny ones. I'd love to have something like that between jokes. us where it's like that like the tag. Yeah. You know? I want to see tag. tag. Yeah. I yeah, I want to see that movie. I just yeah. love the idea of like you're playing tag for your whole life. And it's not a matter of like you're standing in a room just tag, 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 yeah. you're it. It's just like over the course of like some Have you heard of the story, Rick? No, I haven't. Well, the we real We talked st- about this before the movie came out like years yeah. ago. Yeah. 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 The, the real story is, you know, 30 years ago, these guys, uh, they played high, they played tag all through high school. Mm-hmm. And on the, they'd always do it before school. And if you're in, you're in for the whole day until the next day you played. And no right. tag backs. Yeah. So basically what would happen is um, on the last day of school, they played it one last time. They're like, oh, shit, you know, I guess I'm going to be it forever. So 10 years later, they had a reunion. Uh, and then they, who was it last time? They started doing it. And then after that, like once a year for like a period of a week. It's games on. So what these guys do, like in real life, is they'll travel across the country and like It's one month, I believe. Oh one month? Okay. Yeah. They travel across the country and they tag each other. Every November, secretly like crazy the shit. Game attack starts. Like crazy shit. Like so for the sneak, other, yeah. they break into each other's houses. <laughs> yeah. One guy broke an arm, like trying to do something one crazy. One guy t- got tagged at like his father's funeral. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> like he went up there and was like, Sorry buddy, you're it. <laughs> the guy's like <laughs> but the thing is, is that if you're it at the end of November, you're it for the next eleven months. Uh-huh. It's like you know losing uh, fancy football. Sure, you know? yeah, that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. This it's, sounds fun. Yeah, but yeah Jeremy real, Jeremy like Renner actually broke both of his arms. That's what I jumping heard. through. Well, that's in the movie. And, and then, well, what about it, the real life? No, movie? in real life, he broke both his arms. The actor broke. Well, yeah, yeah, his yeah. Arms, for yeah. doing the movie, but we're, like, we're talking about what they did it. Like, yeah. Sure, yeah. In real life, I mean, it'll be a job. He did break his not. Yeah, you know, I'm. Yeah, I'm just curious. Curious life. on what like what was real that was from yeah. their stories that really happened like, to what they've done. There's like a little like 12 minute video you can watch where they like these guys are talking about it and they, you know they they talk about how like you know I know this guy goes to work. One guy 
will tag someone. You can't tag back immediately, obviously. Right. You have to tag someone else, you got, and you only have a month to do it. But, like, one guy, like, he's like, it's the last week of November. I'm getting nervous. I can't be it like I was last year. So he, like, flies to Alaska and stays there. <laughs> home, like, a, like a four seasons for, like, two weeks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Doesn't, doesn't tell anybody. Doesn't tell his wife. Doesn't tell no one. <laughs> 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 that is some funny shit, dude. Yeah. Can you imagine we were doing that and we were all just trying to leave, go anywhere we can, just to, <laughs> yeah. just not to get good. away from some of the some of the funniest things on. You had to be stealth, man. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. Some of the funniest things on a Practical Jokers is they have your they have a you know a bug in your ear so you can hear what they're saying and they'll have you in a public place and they'll be like, okay, you gotta say this. <coughs> hey, see that person right there? Say this to them. You yeah. Know? And some of the stuff they make them say is like, he, is it like Die Hard Three with yeah. Bruce Willis walking down the? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, uh. You know, there's terrible. Like, like at one point, there's like this big giant like guy with a mustache, and he's like, "Hey, hey, you see that guy with the mustache?" I say, "Hey, mustache," and he goes, "Hey, mustache," you know. And the guy turns around, "What'd you say?" I say, "Hey, mustache," again. "Hey, mustache," what you call me, boy? And he gets in his face. And he's like, <laughs> say, it, say, it, say it again. <laughs> say <it> mustache. <laughs> he's like, I, I, I. "Hey, mustache." Uh. <laughs> <laughs> they have security and stuff there, but they have to say like really bad things. Like one is uh. Like he, they, 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 they set up like these focus groups that people come in. They think they're like, bring your kid to an art day, you know? And yeah. He has to teach kids how to draw and stuff. And he's like, you know, you see that kid's, uh, you know, little eye on that he painted right there? It's like, yeah, yeah. And he says, it sucks. Tell his mom, he's like, yeah, it kind of sucks. He'd probably leave. You know? <laughs> they say that like stuff. They, they, they have to say but it, But yeah. you have to do it or you lose the challenge, you know? It's like, hey. That that you know, there's a really good. Painting. I can do that. Well, no, there's this <laughs> really good painting this girl like made. You know, he's like, go over there, take it off, and rip it in half. Oh wow, that would. That and would he's be... like, no, uh, I know it. You know, <laughs> and then lose. Oh yeah. man. And then they they can't refuse. Okay, to I think I've seen them. one thing with this where like they were in an interview. <coughs> yeah. But it was like an interview with, I don't know what it was like a woman and a, and the one guy mm-hmm. and he had an earbud that would have what he had to say. I think it might have been I don't know what it's about, but I just remember something about. Yeah. It's just yeah. Familiar. So it's a hell of a okay, story. I'm trying to remember what it was. Yeah, I can't remember what it was. They have so many. I vaguely things. remember it. I just saw one of the punishments of Sal. Like he had to run through a haunted cornfield. Yeah, that was. He's, yeah, he's a really scared guy. Yeah. Yeah, it's funny. <laughs> Poor man. He had to dig through a trash barge for his <laughs> actual he, cell he's phone. A, he's in the cornfield. and There's a little girl. He's like, oh, there's a little girl over there. Hey, I'm not gonna be upset if I punch you in the face. <laughs> you, know? you come out here, that's what's gonna happen. <laughs> I said, get through this thing. They're all New York guys, you know? Yeah. yeah. Like Quinn was a New York fire depart- uh, a yeah. firefighter and stuff. They're all just funny. That's funny. I like that. Yeah, they're making a movie. Yeah. yeah. They're making a oh, movie cool, cool. Yeah. about them, or like those a, guys are making a movie? Practical Jokers movie, like how Jackass had a yeah. television show. Yeah. And they okay. made a movie just so they can do crazier stuff. Gotcha. Cool. Cool. And the big problem with them right now is everybody recognizes them in New York. Yeah. yeah. So they have to go other places. Yeah. <coughs> like Marietta. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I think I told this to Shane. I don't know if I told it to anyone else, but uh, there is a Star Wars Fan Awards mm-hmm. coming up yeah. in 2018. Huh? showcasing some of the most impressive creativity in our galaxy. Uh, here are the categories. Videos up to five minutes long for a long video, or short up to 15 seconds long. And the categories are best animation, best stop motion, best comedy, best choreography, best visual effects, audience choice, filmmaker select, spirit of the fandom. Yeah, this is a kind of an offshoot of the old fan film awards that Lucasfilm used to do. Yeah. Celebrations. Uh, photos, best scene inspired photo, best family portrait, best throwback photo, best original concept, funniest, best pet photography, best Star Wars food presentation, best in show audience choice, and then visual art of like actual art and stuff. But uh, submissions are open. They open on July 18th, close September 17th, and you get the prestige, but also a Star Wars prize worth $200. Sure. Apparently. So it's it, so people are making new things for the this segment, or yeah. they just submitting. I think they're making new things. Is probably what. Yeah, it I don't is. think we could just like frosty submit. can't just be submitted. Yeah. It doesn't <laughs> say in the rules that it has to be like Fresh. new, but then again, the, the contest hasn't actually started yet. <laughs> yeah. So, so they they might this used to be a then. real big deal because there used to be the George Lucas fan favorite pick, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Where he would come out and be like, mm, "Good job," <laughs> you know? Yeah. I really liked it. <laughs> um, so that was always the big deal of trying to get into that, but it, the, the rules used to be very stringent. I'm not sure what they are now. Hmm. That, that sounds was, cool, though. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I was thinking maybe we should try to do something. Maybe, yeah. When is it? Give away is all it? my ideas on a podcast. July 18th it starts, through September? Yeah, it starts in like two weeks, and then it ends in September. 
There's not much time. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe we can try. Well, we have through September. We could maybe try to work on something. Yeah, maybe we can try. We'll see. Maybe we can try. Maybe we can try. I'm going to pair with Maxwell Sweat and just fucking do and Antoine just all do a project. Remember Maxwell? Yeah, I do. I'm just thinking if I want to share if we win. <laughs> yeah. Well, we have him replace what you would you'd normally do. <laughs> and then well, the rest of us will be in it. <laughs> <laughs> Calvin, would, Calvin would be co lead. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, we do Maxwell. Calvin like, would be my stunt bosh. double. Yeah. What? Calvin would be my stunt double. <laughs> <laughs> Calvin, Calvin, I think it's something, we should, I think it's something we should think about. I think it's something we should think about. For real. That would be terrible. That <laughs> would be terrible. <laughs> Just take, take everything I want and take it away from me. <laughs> <laughs> so, coming up, Calvin will be going to Canada. Mm hmm. This weekend mm -hmm. for a convention, mm -hmm. and you're Eric, leaving, you're leaving tomorrow, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah tomorrow's Friday. It's crazy. Tomorrow, you one in the morning. Oh, yeah, okay. one a.m. Oh, tonight to Montreal. Yep, yep. So you're going to Montreal mm -hmm. Comic Con? Mm -hmm. Okay. Your yep. flight leaves at one, or no? My flight leaves at like six. Damn, I gotta be there. Your like... ass is gonna leave here and drive there. Yeah. <laughs> it's better than like. I mean, whenever I go visit, like Jancy, I have to leave like I, I usually leave like at three. Yeah, I give myself about three hours. Because around that time, like there's no security or anything, but <coughs> still, I also it's leave. an international flight too, which yeah, I guess I'm so. not exactly sure about what all is going on there. Did you check in the bag. Yeah. <coughs> Make sure you pack it yourself. They ask you questions. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Hey, if anybody's gonna be at the Montreal Comic Con, keep yeah. an eye out for Calvin. Keep an eye out for me. Yep. Anybody's gonna be in Myrtle Beach, North Carolina, or is it South Carolina? I think it's North Carolina. North Carolina. There, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be there for a week. Just Wherever say Myrtle Beach. Beach. <laughs> I'm gonna go check out some turtles and alligator adventure. Ah, if best place ever. Take selfies. If it was gonna shame. be in Marietta, Ohio, <laughs> <laughs> that's where the rest of us are. Yeah. <laughs> do you tan, Eric, or do you just burn? Uh, no, I burn then tan. Okay. I have to burn I, I before I tan. I can tan sunscreen and stuff, but... You burn and then tan? Yeah. Like, my, my burn won't peel. It'll just turn tan. It'll okay. blacken. Yeah. I've never peeled from a sunburn. I have. Oh, no. man, I have. It's awful. You just haven't been outside Hate long the sun. Yeah. Hate it. It's the worst thing. I got <laughs> so many blisters on my back one time through a t-shirt. Yeah. Because it was like... It was a white t-shirt, which I was working... I was, I was doing construction back then, I guess, building houses and stuff, and... Yeah, it, it burned me through my T-shirt. It was terrible. Because then I had to ta like, take my T-shirt off. Yeah. And it was like it had partially scabbed and stuff. Oh. So I was, I was tearing the skin off while taking this T-shirt oh, off. Jesus. And then I had to, like, burst these pustules and then put, like, aloe on it and stuff. It was terrible. Pop, pop quiz, Calvin. <laughs> yeah. Okay. For five days in a row, you get your and a son. Every okay. <clears throat> So, are you more tan after the 30 days? Eight hours. Doing eight hours for 30 days? Yeah, and it's, it's eight five hours. Days. Five it's, days in a row. Nope. You're just as tan. You need more exposure to the sun to get more tan. What do, you mean you, what do you mean you're just as tan? I mean, at the end of the five days, end of the 30 days, you're just as tan if you get the same amount of... Uh, exposure time, which is eight hours, so you need actually. Oh, I thought you said eight hours for thirty days. This pop quiz <laughs> was poorly constructed. It was very poorly. Pop constructed. quiz, Calvin, and you went. You know what I know? This pop quiz. All I know fizzed. is Calvin answered wrong. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I was given incomplete and, and scrambled instructions. I felt scrambled. like I felt like he was yeah. asking it in a way that was going to be like, well, neither, either, either you're going to think it's this one or you're going to be wrong. Yeah. So, I was I was thinking you said. Five days for eight hours a day, yep. or thirty days for eight, eight hours, hours a day. day. Yeah, that's exactly that's exactly what, I said. what he said. Okay. Yeah, yeah. you were wrong. It's okay. <laughs> it, it's a, it's, you it's weren't a, even involved, so you can shut a, the fuck it, no, up. No, it's, it's, just, it's <laughs> a it's a question that he worded it so that both of them you're gonna you're gonna be wrong either way. Okay. I think what he's saying is like you got to spend nine hours a day then to be more yeah. tan in thirty right. days. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know how that works, but sure. I don't know. How did how does that work? So people going in tanning beds, if they're not tanning, you adapt. they got tan for like four hours a day. I don't want to be the guy that knows the answer to that question. <laughs> <laughs> so let's just move on. Thank <laughs> you. Your body adapts to its exposure level. 
So you need an increase. <laughs> you need an increase of exposure for your for uh, y- your body to. What, what's so funny? <laughs> you look. You laughed no. and you looked at me. No, it was, that pop quiz had no pop. <laughs> I said it fizzed. My joke was better. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. All right, so I've got this thing to show, and then we'll read shout-outs, I guess, because we still have some filming to do today. <coughs> Damn. Running a little behind. Film. Yeah. Yeah, we got to finish our game. Oh, yeah. Uh, so Cobb has made a bunch of stuff for us. Uh, this one is Eric out of context. Oh. Oh. I thought I would oh, show. Oh, yeah. Cobb. Oh, no. <laughs> I've only seen a little bit of this. I want you to turn it up a little. So this yeah. is just someone taking clips from our videos yeah. and putting them out of context. And this is mine. Damn it, I'm thin. I love my girlfriend. I love it, but none of it is out of context. No, it's just no. Eric. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's. I. I can. My automatic thing is some ones that. Yeah. Don't say that. <laughs> but, yeah. The big for, the thing for me is like, well, seeing like a video and I know on my beard. Yeah. And then I used to just let my beard just grow, because fucking if I let it go, it'll grow up here. Yeah. You know. Which yeah. Is, so I used to just fucking let it grow weird. like to here, but now I actually will trim it down. I think it's better. Fucking lengthen my face out a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But now I watch it now. I'm like, ah, I got fucking. Fucking two years of shit I don't want to see. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That was cool. That was cool. Uh, yes. Yeah. The other ones? A lot of fun. A lot, a lot, a lot but I mean, there's a no. lot of okay. video to go through to be able to find. Oh, there's so much oh, stuff. Yeah. We have so many videos. We have over 3,000 videos now. Yeah. There's a lot. There's a lot of videos. On this channel. Yeah. It's crazy. I saw people on the 4th of July like posting like Cold Day in America videos and different things. Yeah. There's some Calvin thing with the American flag behind him <laughs> chasing a deer yeah, that or was, something. Uh, I don't know. Oh, we yeah. chased, we were, it was the Uncharged dream. Yeah, it was Uncharted ba- 4, right? Da- yeah. da- it was like, no, because there's a deer I saw, and I had Jurassic World playing, or Jurassic Park oh. game playing, and you can hear, <laughs> you can hear <laughs> Ian Malcolm's laughter. <laughs> 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 it sounds That's like ZZ Top or something laughing. Did you think videos, too? No, that was the only one. Oh, okay. No more drunk Eric streams. I thought he said Cobb has made a few more videos. No, like that. they said more drunk uh, Eric screams. I said he's made a few videos. Ah, uh, yes, yes. Yeah. yeah. You made the gum one. Yep. You made the dancing one. Yep. You made that one. All right, so shout outs. Madge Brat, 50 butts. <laughs> 50 bits. <laughs> I was going to say. What? 50 butts. I said butts. 50 butts. <laughs> How many butts can you send? <laughs> butt tube. 50. No, titty tube. How many titty bits tube. to a I butt? Titty tube. How many bits equal a butt? Yeah. I don't know. You got to get a... A hundred. It's a factor of a hundred. How many bites can a butt take? No, that's not. uh, It's not the factor. Yeah, because each bit. It's not a bite. (laughs) Unless you're doing bite or why. Madge Brad, 50 bits. bits. Hope (laughs) you all have a great day. Thank you, Madge Brad. Thank you, Madge Brad. If you bit it. Uh, Pro reviews, 10 bits. More butts for you, Rick. (laughs) Obviously just came in. Um. LLB Jangles, 100 bits. Thank you, Eric, for your honest review of Code Geass Episode 1 and Jurassic World 2. I like when you guys are critical of stuff while still being positive. More drunk, Eric. No. <laughs> <laughs> he also gave 1,000 bits. Oh, shit. Oh, thanks. Damn, thank you. Saying thank your you. podcasts are amazing. Mm. Thank you for all you do, guys. Thank, thank you, you. Thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you, Bo Jangles. Thank you. Cor- LL Bo Jangles. LL B O Jangles. Yeah. LL B O Jangles is what I think, it, I think it's Bo, Bo Jangles. I think yeah. it's 
Because it has L's on either side. I think it's oh, just Oh, I see. Yeah. Those are pipes. It's like those X's. Yeah. Got it. Oh, pipes. pipes. Bojangles. Uh, Core Eagle has subscribed. Oh, thank you, Core Eagle. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. Core Eagle. Saladin, 100 bits. Hashtag pizza time. Pizza time. Pizza time. He also oh. resubscribed for three months in a row. Oh, thank, oh, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you for the subs. Thank you, resub. Gigatech has subscribed. Good. Thank you, Gigatech. It's like a Digimon. Gigatech? Or a Digimon move. Uh, yeah, maybe. Warp Priest has subscribed. Warp Priest, thank you so Warp much. Priest. Warp Nation Whoa. subscribed for seven months. Warp, Warp Nation. Nation. That's gotta be your theme song, man. You yeah, <laughs> we'll record it for you. We have your intro it's, for all your music. It's weird. Your There's videos. been different individuals that have slowly gotten like if if Jeff Knapp Jeff is involved, Knapp. it goes in the Jeff cat dog Knapp, If Jeff uh, Knapp. if uh. Sanders. Megan Sanders. <laughs> Megan Sanders. She gets Megan, the Megan bacon Sanders. pancake song. I don't know yeah. why, but we have different people that just have a yeah. theme song. Now. If they don't have it as a ring t- tone, I will be disappointed. Yeah. Whoop Nation. Uh, uh, I already said that. Gondar, four months. Gondar. 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 Thank you Thank so much. Sounds like a Star Wars planet. Gondar. Echo Dolly, 100 Gondar. bits, and resubscribe for seven months. Yay. Thank, Thank you, you, Echo Dolly. Yay. Alvic, 93, 13 months. Whoa. Thank you Thank so much. You. Thank you, Alvic. He says, Crazy. another month? Doesn't time fly? Another yes, yeah. it really does. Another one? Darcy's another one. Pets, 500 bits. Thank you, Darcy. You're shining it on my face, and it was like felt like it was reflecting to my actual eyes. <laughs> <laughs> top screen, 100 bits. Top screen. Thank, Thank you, you, top, top screen. screen. Thank you. Brendan Anomaly has resubscribed for two months. Y'all were my first Patreon donation. I couldn't think of a better channel to give it oh, to. Oh, thank you. Thank, thank you, you, Brendan. Brendan. You all. Thank you. Y'all. Yeah. Yo. 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 So so so. Yo. You all. Yo. Aramaic eight. Uh, Aramaic eighty five hundred bits and resubscribe for nine months. Whoa. Blind wave baby. Blind wave oh. baby. Thank Aramaic. You, Aramaic. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you for everything, Aramaic. Uh, Agent J for thirteen months. Agent J. J. What up, man? J. And thank you. That's awesome. Him you and much. Aramaic are both at the tier three <gasps> subscription. Whoa. Oh, thank you guys. Thank you so much. You guys are awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, Katie has resubscribed for 13 months. 13 for Katie. Thank Katie, you, Katie. Katie, uh, thank you. Thank I'm you, losing Katie. track of all the months and resubs, but I'm not losing sight of the awesome content you guys put out every day. Heart. Thank you so much. Thank Katie. you. Katie. Oh, Katie Stubb. Yeah, Katie Stubb. Katie Stubb. Huh? Katie Stubb. I remember you would just say people's names and you couldn't tell what you were. Katie Stubb. Who's a ha Imperium <laughs> Sky. <means> stubs. <laughs> Imperium Sky has resubscribed for 13 months. Yo, I've not been around for a bit, but the support stays strong. Yeah. Thank Whoa. you, Imperium Sky. Thank, Thank you, you so Imperium much. Sky. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Subscribe. And finally, Bojangles again with 100 bits. Can my theme song be called Call That Bitch Bojangles? <laughs> yes. I don't know. Thank you so much. <laughs> well, thank what you. Be the melody. I don't know. Call That Bitch. Bojangles. No, that's Father Abraham. It should be like George's uh, voicemail. Believe it or not. Believe it or yeah. not. Bojangles is. Remember when Steve home Young did that? A message. <laughs> the beep. <laughs> I must be out. Or I pick up the phone. Who is that? Where can I be? <laughs> hey, George <laughs> senses a breakup is impending. But he wants. He, it's his dream to take this girl to this ballroom dance. Like to live out this fantasy in his head about taking a girl to a so ball and po- having her spin around. So he's yeah. postponing the. Yeah, <laughs> just. So she's trying to get a hold of him to break up with him, and he's greeting his calls. And yeah. his message every time she co- she calls is, believe it or not, George is yeah. not home, <laughs> yeah. so leave a message at the. So beach. she'll he'll leave. She'll and he's leave sitting a, right next to it. Yeah, she'll leave a voicemail. <laughs> and he's like singing along with it. Like, <laughs> and then he'll call her work and go, hey, just, this is George just trying to get a hold of you. Well, no, no, no. What happened is she's like, George, we need to talk. I'm at home, or no, I'm at work, bye. So he calls her house, he's like, hey, oh, you must be at, uh, he calls like, yeah, right? Yeah, the office. Yeah, oh, yeah. you must be at the office, <laughs> I'll call you later, you know, playing phone tag with him. Yeah. It's great. Uh, uh, awesome. Travis so, Sue just yeah. subscribed for two months. Oh, Yay! Travis Sue, thank you. Thank you. You can shoot things with that. Oh, it's Trubuche. And Shania Twain, 100 bits, have any of y'all ghost ridden the whip? Juan. <laughs> have any of y'all ghost ridden the whip? A wand quote, apparently. No, okay. I have not. Don't think so. All right. Well, thank you, everyone, for the support, and thank you for watching the podcast. Any uh, slaps? Thank you. Oh, yes. Uh, okay. Redemption. There yeah. was a redemption for Aaron. There's at least two. My mistake. No. I mean, 
for you. My least favorite part. Yes. To slap someone? Yes. Yeah. yes, because oh. Aaron had such a terrible weekend. Yeah. There was pity was in the chat. Well, that's day. not the fucking... <laughs> I believe it was to Eric. <laughs> to me? Yeah. So Let me bring Aaron it up here. To slap you. <laughs> I've always hated this part of the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been slapped for it. All right. So a this slap being slapped in it? I've never been slapped for from the, the 16-bit no. couple. Oh. Aaron slapping Aaron Aaron slap Calvin. Oh, you were Because wrong. why not? You were wrong. No, I'm oh, sure there's one in this. There are three side. of them. This side. Okay. No. <laughs> the fuck? Because of my left hand? D- don't I mean, get his tooth. Take your ring off. He has a ring on. Wow. You picked the side. Yeah, I'll slap you with this. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll backhand you like you did me that one time. <laughs> Remember that? Yeah. And it didn't hurt as bad. It one. was terrible. Was it? Watch. Watch. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh, oh. I ain't going next. That sounded so terrible. Oh, that was all bone. You guys are going to say, he got him, he got him in his chin. Oh, those knuckles. Here, slap me with a piece of pizza. What? <laughs> well, no, he'll like it. Don't do it. <laughs> no, do it. Be funny. He'll come back and you won't have fingers, Aaron. Do it. Do it. Let me warm it up first. Come on. He'll no. get an erection <laughs> again. I like it lukewarm warm on my face. Let him warm it up. <laughs> well, do unfortunately. Do we slap him with a piece of pizza? Yeah, why not? Dip 602 from Aaron to Rick for making his bad weekend even worse. Oh, damn. Oh, I slap you? Yeah. Slap me. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh, man. I think his head <laughs> took a little bit of it. A little bit. <laughs> um, and the 16-bit couple again, Aaron to Eric. Hopefully, it'll make your week better. See? Told you. Slap them. Slap the... F- you know, slap the living shit out of him. Should I slap him with pizza or just slap him? Dude, slap him pizza. You need to make that pizza hot if you slap him. No! So it sticks in his beard. Just slap me. No, slap no, no. Beer. Beer. With the pizza. pizza. Who says pizza? I say I pizza. Say pizza. <laughs> He says pizza! Majority rules, bro! Uh, like, you don't want hurt, you want pizza slime. <laughs> hurt him with the pizza. He'll like it too much. Try <laughs> to make this stupid bit work. Uh, oh. This is a terrible idea. Take, Take off your glasses. glasses. Take your glasses off. Move no, the mic. Take glasses on. Stop. Wait, do I, do I hold it? Do I hold it here? No, you hold it like... Oh. Hold it like <laughs> yeah, like I that. like this. Yes. I'm knocked out. No! <laughs> Slap him, man! Do it. Slap him! <laughs> don't turn away, you bitch. <laughs> don't turn away in fear. Look at me! Oh, 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 He's trying. He's trying to get it. Rick, end this fucking shit. End this bit. Oh, man. Oh. Right, guys, thank you so much for joining us for this edition of the Blown Wave Podcast. Oh, if you want to check it live, check it out it's on, your shirt. on Thursdays at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. <laughs>